Hey everybody, this is Pastor Tyler Baker of Valiant Baptist Church, and we are located in the Jacksonville, Florida area. So I'm coming to you with another episode in the series of Alcohol in the Bible, wherein I am proving from Scripture that we as Christians are not only commanded to abstain from drunkenness, but we are also commanded to abstain from any and all alcoholic consumption. We are just supposed to stay away from it. The Bible says don't even look at it. Uh, a lot of Christians and Bible students misunderstand the word wine in the Bible. And this is where a lot of the confusion lies. Uh, this is also what this episode is going to be on. They believe that the word wine, when found in the King James Bible, is strictly and exclusively referring to an alcoholic beverage every time that it occurs, which is simply not true. They believe this because our word wine today in our modern English vernacular exclusively refers to alcohol. Uh, words change throughout time. There are many words words in the King James Bible that have changed their meaning uh, throughout the past 400 years. And I'm going to be doing a uh, video in the future where I'm demonstrating this with other words very clearly and obviously. But the word wine, when found in the King James Bible, is not always alcoholic. It is actually a word that means juice, and it can either be referring to an alcoholic beverage or a non-alcoholic beverage. I wanted to show you another verse that very clearly proves that and that is Isaiah chapter number 65, verse number 8. The Bible reads, Thus saith the Lord, as the new wine is found in the cluster, and one saith, Destroy it not, for a blessing is in it. So will I do for my servant's sake, that I may not destroy them all. Part of that verse that I want to draw your attention to is that it states this, As the new wine is found in the cluster. Now, first let me ask you this question. What is a cluster? Well, a cluster means a group. It's referring to a group of grapes. Now, they're a group because they are still attached to their localized vine. So it's referring to the grapes while still on the vine themselves. And I want you to notice what it says is found inside of them. It says, as the new wine is found in the cluster. So what would we say is inside of that grape while it's still attached to the cluster? Well, we today would say juice. But do you know what the Bible said? It said that new wine is found in the cluster. So proving once more that very clearly over and over again, we see in situations where it is not scientifically possible that that juice that is within that grape to be alcoholic, the Bible refers to it just as wine. So the surface interpretation, the literal interpretation, is that new wine was found in the cluster. It's a grape with, of course, juice inside of it, but nevertheless, the Bible, the Holy Spirit, refers to it as wine. Of course, it can't be alcoholic, therefore it is just regular juice. Now, I've heard people try to explain this away by spiritualizing the verse. But actually, what is meant to be literal, or what is literal in the verse, is what I just read to you. New wine being found in the cluster. So, this literal occurrence that takes place is being used for something or to represent something that is symbolic. So it says, as new wine is found in the cluster. So it points to something in reality that actually takes place and happens. And it says, just as new wine is found in the cluster, and then he goes on, so shall this happen uh, in the same way. And he uses that to be something real, to be a figure for something spiritual. So the literal portion of this verse, uh, which was where we would find the science and all of that and, and, and things that relate to nature, is that it is a cluster and uh, you know, on the cluster, there's a grape with new wine inside of it. Of course, proving uh, that the word wine does sometimes just mean juice. So we thank you for watching. We thank you for all your support. And God bless you and have a good day.